Dreams came true for a host of youngsters this past Sunday when Major League Baseball held its first year player draft. The Yankees used the 20th overall pick to select shortstop Trey Sweeney out of Eastern Illinois University. And he joins us right now. Trey, first and foremost, what was your draft experience like? And also, what was your first reaction when you found out the Yankees drafted you? Yeah, so um, I was in Denver at the draft, and um, it, it just it didn't feel real the whole time I was sitting there. But, I mean, it was just a crazy experience. Um, it was really nice for, to share it with my family and friends and to, and to be on that big stage. So i um, uh, just thankful to be invited there and to be able to attend. But, um, you know, I've, I don't think you can really put into words what it, what it feels like when the Yankees call you and tell you they want you to play for them. But... Um, um, just full of emotions in that moment, and, and so were my parents when, when they found out as well. So um, walking up on that stage with the pinstripes on was a special moment, and so I'm going to remember forever for sure. That's great that you got to share that with your family because, as you said, they meant so much to you along the journey. You grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. That's where your journey began. What was your favorite baseball team back then and your favorite player growing up? I actually didn't uh, didn't have a favorite team, you know. In, in Kentucky, we don't have any professional sports, so everybody's pretty big on the college teams. But um, yeah, I was more more into players, and um, my favorite player ever is King Griffey Jr. And and you know, um, one of my other favorite players is is a pretty well known Yankee whose name is Derek Jeter. So um, <laughs> definitely pretty cool. Now we're going to turn you from player to scout for a second, for the benefit okay. of Yankees fans. Hearing you maybe for the first time, give us a scouting report of Trey Sweeney. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like overall I'm just I'm just a reliable player on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, I can hit the ball over the fence and, and hit some doubles for power, but uh, also I just feel like I'm a reliable hitter who's going to get the job done at the plate, whether it's um, hitting a live drive single to get someone in or, or moving a runner or just putting the ball in play. So. Um, I feel confident being able to do my job at the plate, and that's what I pride myself on. You played shortstop in college. Uh, are you okay with any part of the left side of the infield? Would third base be comfortable for you, too? Absolutely. You know, I, I would love to keep playing short for as long as I can, but, um, yeah, I have a lot of experience um, with travel ball in high school and also college summer ball as well, playing third base. So. Um, you know, that wouldn't be an issue for me at all. Let's go back to you in the batter's box. Your calling card is your power. What adjustments do you think you'll need to make to succeed at the levels before you? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's definitely some adjustments that could be made and just because there's always room to improve. But uh, I know I think I'll, I'll kind of find that out when I get to work with some uh, professional hitting coaches and, and see what they have to say. But, uh, you know, for now, I feel comfortable in, in the way I hit and, going to see how far it can take me. Do you have any BP scheduled at Yankee Stadium in your future? Um, I, I think so. I know I'm, I'm going to do my absolute hardest to, to work to that point and, you know, get to be able to do that someday. So um, first part of my dream of getting drafted has come true. And, you know, I'm not going to stop until the second part of my dream has come true where I get to play in the big league. So um, I'm excited to try to make that happen. All right, let's go back to your last year at Eastern Illinois. What, uh, you hit 382 with 14 homers and 46 ribbies in 48 games. What are some of the factors that you could attribute to all of your success this past season? Yeah, I think it's just um, experience. I was fortunate enough to walk into Eastern Illinois and start playing from the get-go. And, uh, you know, my freshman year didn't go nearly as well as, as this year did. But um, using that year of experience and the half year last year, I just – learned a lot of things about myself and what I needed to work on and, and what I needed to do to be, to be able to belong at the Division One level. And um, like I said, I just realized what I needed to work on and, and started focusing on that. And um, it just took, helped me take that next step. Trey, what about some coaches in your past? Who are some of your biggest influence on the coaching side? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone at, at EIU was a huge help to me and, and part of my development. And my head coach, actually, Jason Anderson, played with the Yankees, so um, I know he's really happy about this and happy that we get to share another thing in common. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were all super helpful as soon as I got there and, and realized what type of player they wanted me to be and how I could help the team the most. And, um, you know, they, they 